Hi, my name's Rick. I'm uh, the uh, owner of Pro Audio Development, also uh, system tech here at Marathon Church. And uh, I'm a little weary, that's why I'm talking funny. <laughs> anyway, I got this snake here. I'm trying to identify all these channels. And I got a little trick I want to show you. Whoop, tripping over stuff. We're in the middle of building a recording studio. This is Studio M. And I've got this, uh, pardon the sound, we got panels that are out, and they're in this main room. They're shooting video. So I've got this thing I picked up at Harbor Freight. Cable tracker. And it works real good with standard cables. <clears throat> but with shielded cables, see, I'm trying to identify where that wall plate comes out into that snake. So the best way I've found is I took an old XLR. I soldered pin two and three together, and pin one is by itself. All right, now that you know the specifics, you take your cable tracker, turn it on for tone. So now, when you turn this on, when you get near that, you push this button, when you get near, okay, so the problem is with shielded wire, it shields any interference out so you're barely gonna hear that sound so this little adapter I made two and three are soldered together and one is by itself I'll show you why you're gonna take your lead your ground lead if I can hold it you're not gonna see this I'm having to hold the phone hook your ground lead to pin one and come over to your plate and we're gonna plug it into 17 here. Okay, so there it is. So let's take our cable tracker. And this cable tracker is going to get us in the neighborhood. So we take our cable and hold the button. Hear how you can barely hear that? That's about all you're going to get with a shielded wire. So then you take your multimeter. What it does is that barely sound gets you in the neighborhood of the bundle because I got 22 lines here. So then I take my meter. Sorry about having trying to hold the phone at the same time. Just doing this on my iPhone. Now you take your meter, which is set to tone. Okay. And you tone out the two lines. See if I can do this one-handed here. Well, there you go. See that? That's why you solder pin two and three together. So now, with the cable tracker and my multimeter, I've discovered which channel this is out there on the wall plate. So now I've got about 18 more channels to do. And then I can start. I made the snake. It's a little dirty because we've been working in here. But now once I get them all labeled, then I can start soldering them in to the console patch bay. So anyway, that's the way that I identify my channels. If you got any questions, uh, leave me a comment or go to my website, rickcperry.com, and, you know, contact me there. Follow me on Twitter or Facebook, and we'll see you later. Thanks a lot.